filmed over New Mexico and submitted to the MUFON database, this footage shows what looks like either a giant UFO or four smaller UFOs over the desert. The person that submitted the video said it was taken by a friend back in 2014, while allegedly north of Roswell according to his GPS. The UFO or UFOs were at about 35,000 feet high, and was only visible for a short time before disappearing into the clouds. It's without a doubt strange, and it is hard to speculate as to whether or not this is military or extraterrestrial. But this is an amazing piece of footage to say the least. Reported by the YouTube channel, BP Earth Watch, this UFO story has the internet community talking. These images of an alleged UFO in Earth's orbit were taken by NASA, using the 230-foot deep space network antenna located at Goldstone, California. Each of the 72 frames required 320 seconds of data collection by the Goldstone radar. The images suggest that the object was 75,000 miles from Earth, and has a long axis of about 130 feet. NASA said the object had an orbit around the Sun of about 10 months, and also called it a near-Earth object. Many ufologists are claiming this is indeed an alien ship, not a meteor, and are speculating what it was doing so close to the Earth. Just take a look at this particular image of it. Does it look like a ship? Or an asteroid? According to BP Earthwatch, in the last few frames the object was speeding away at thousands of miles per hour. He also pointed out that the day they discovered this object, was also the day a meteor fell and crashed in Russia on February 2, 2013. So what is this thing? Just your typical asteroid? Or meteor? Or an alien ship? First reported by GalacticConnection.com and other websites, this story is kind of amazing. According to these sites strange beams of light are being photographed by people from all around the world. Most of these beams of light seem to come directly from the clouds, and in most cases had lightning either in them, or all around them. Like these, taken in South Fort Myers, Florida on August 15th. And these, taken in Italy on August 10th.
here are some others from around the world. It seems highly unlikely that all these beams are a natural occurrence, camera malfunction, or lens flares. Judge for yourselves. Has another creature been found in a Mars photo? Scott C. Waring of UFOSightingsDaily.com thinks so. Discovered in a picture taken by the Curiosity rover that was uploaded to gigapan.com, there does seem to be something to Scott's claim. Look over here. Without a doubt it really looks like a monkey, or baboon type of creature. But is it? Look at this side by side comparison. Other examples have been seen in Mars photographs before. Could it really be a living thing just sitting out in the open? or is it just a natural formation? Orion's Belt, also known as the Three Kings, or the Three Sisters, has been the subject of amazement and speculation for hundreds of years. Located between 736 and 1340 light years away from Earth, these bright stars have been at the center of conspiracy theories that suggest Orion's belt is where the origins of human life began. Many ancient cultures believe this, and some have even mimicked this constellation in their man-made structures. Like the Egyptian pyramids. The pyramids of Teotihuacan in Mexico City and the Xi'an pyramids in China. But how about these examples? A cluster of mountains on Mars that are only a few miles away from the famous Mars face. Even the World Trade Center was designed in this formation. What is it about these stars that are so important cultures seem to mirror them in their own way? Are they truly the birthplace of humanity? Are they our true home? Is there something we are missing here? <laughs> 